Hey guys, Ted from Nerdarchy here, four nerds by nerds, hanging out with these nerds. Nerdarchy Steve. Ryan. And uh, today we have a GM911 from Nathan Marcano. He's actually playing Stars Without Number, and yes. is, uh, he's, he's got a situation where the players have stumbled upon the end game scenario, and he's, he's not certain what he should do. Hey, but if you guys have a GM911 you want us to help out with, uh, you can send us an email with the GM911 in the subject line at nerdarchy.gmail.com or you can go to nerdarchy.com where the forum is and we will help you with your GM911. So the, the broad point is the players have stumbled upon a spaceship. They've got, that they managed to get into the AI and found out that the AI is written to actually complete genocide on a, on a species that the players are on friendly terms with and through a little bit of good rolling and planning they've managed to, to stumble onto the to, to essentially what he would consider his end game plot so he's he's stuck with the question of does he allow the players to jump to the end game or does he try and find a way to derail them from this this plot so that they're able to gain levels and get more power before getting getting them to that location. There's a couple things going on here. One is, uh, and we should say that like the, the person with the computer skill to, to uncover this plot critted the roll, right? Yeah. So you have to honor the dice roll, I think. Yeah, you have to honor the dice roll, but as the GM, never give out the information you don't want them to have. Mm -hmm. If you've given it to them, you want them to have it. Right. And now it's up to them to do what they want with it. Now, if it's the situation of they're just not ready to deal with this threat, like leave that in play yeah leave, yeah leave it in play but you, there's no reason why you can't let them know that they're not ready for it like like you there's definitely foreshadowing you can do that says hey these guys are a bit beyond they blew you. up a fucking planet or something like yeah. that you know like, I, I think there's a, a perfect corollary here with your game Oh okay, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. there's a situation that needs to be addressed but you guys aren't ready to address it yet. we're not big and powerful enough to do it and yeah. and so now the problem the problem with this is that depending on the type of game you're running and your players, if you if you know 3.5 Dungeons and Dragons has ruined a lot of players, I, I blame I blame this on that you know more or less. It was not a second edition or first edition problem. If you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, you're guilty too. It's it's the the problem of always having challenges that are appropriate for the character level you know it once the players are trained that they're going to always face problems that are appropriate to their character level mm. anything you put out there they is, think are, they, is, can handle. They, they always think that they have the round peg for the round hole but but no like sometimes no it's a it's a square hole and you have a round peg and you, you're going to die if you try to put that peg in that hole yeah so mm. you know this is simple enough you put it out there and you know what they might come up with the interesting side quest that you didn't think of where they're like oh we have to deal with this problem you know is there another way and mm. and is that's kind of like what i did in my game mm. is i sourced it to my players like like this is the problem this is the thing you need to do uh and well, it's clear that you guys don't have the capabilities of doing it what are you gonna do you you displayed the power of what you've told us out of game here here is end game this is where you guys are now you're at eighth level and you found out that you need to go up against this guy we don't have that power so, in order to do that, we're seeking need, resources. We're seeking resources. Yeah. This is going to take time. We're going to investigate multiple places, and we're going to have things that we're going to do. We understand that we have plenty of time because, you know, before operation problem happens. So, we can figure things out. We can go on side quests. We can do individual goals before we get there because time. It, we're not dealing with with critical time scenarios. So I think in this particular case, uh, Nathan, you need to you know allow the players to gather more information, find out that they have time before that they before they need to deal with this AI threat. Yeah, and, like maybe there's a like zero protocol or whatever that's going to happen, but it's like it's actually scheduled and there's a countdown that he right. like uncovered yeah, or something like that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, suggest. the enemy has goals they're working towards before they can achieve 
the main goal that you're supposed to stop, right? Mm -hmm. So in that, in essence, could give you places where you could foul them up. Either either they can like sabotage these little goals where it's not a head-to-head -head confrontation. Yeah, I was I was I was going to kind of. Or it could be like, okay, we need to go get more resources to deal with this problem, or or maybe like, oh, wait a minute, we find out like there's an enemy of our enemy. Perhaps we can, you know, negotiate a treaty with them and. And have more allies for the for the end game. Yeah, I was gonna say, again, corollarying to to what you're doing in your game, if there are if there are smaller plots that this AI is is enacting, they can thwart the smaller they plots. Thwart smaller plots. They can then see well, what kind of technology and things are they up against? What can they do to, to power themselves up against that type of threat so that they are in, in in essence better able to handle when they actually go to the big bad. Yeah. Now, so I wonder too, like, um, if, if this AI has figured out that the players are onto it, and like, what what would happen with that? You know, like, so if it figures out that there has been a breach and someone's seen these secret files or whatever, because it might have some mechanism for that. Because um, right. I imagine one of the, the the early steps that the players might do is try to just. <laughs> I, I just I'm just envisioning like the AI a activating its assassination protocols mm -hmm. and just like, killing the character. So, no, no, no. So the players are like getting attacked by their by their food replicators or <laughs> <laughs> a toaster. Yeah, yeah. The toilet <laughs> yeah. is just overflowing at them like a geyser. But you know, so shuts down gravity. Yeah. So I mean. The AI could start like basically home and beaking, sending forces to to attack the players. Um, so smaller forces, not the main host. Um, I imagine that they might want to try to to warn this other race, but then the AI is going to take countermeasures and like block communications or jam their signal or so. And if they try to. They, if, so an AI, like I don't know if it's like integrated into their ship. Well, there could be an entire adventure where the ship's uh, security system, the, the ship, ship yeah, yeah, the security system, and they got to get a new ship is basically what's going to happen. But by losing the ship, like they're going to need to maintain contact with the AI to like get get deeper information. Or well, files I mean or that's one solution. Yeah. You could do a bunch there's, of things. There's a whole. Thing. We also I'm don't just... know. We also don't know whether they have their own ship besides this captured ship, or whether the yeah. captured ship is their sole. Or what? If, what if they're able to do something cool like? Isolate the uh, the the AI on the ship, like almost creating a virtual prison, mm. where they have this prisoner that they can interrogate and becomes like an NPC mm. that is is antagonistic towards the party, but doesn't really take up any space in the party, mm. isn't generally going to be helpful intentionally, mm. you know, could you know could almost be like a you know a thorn in our side from time to time. Yeah. Well, and also too, like even if they imprison the AI, like I'm sure it had lieutenants that are executing its orders, like its last wishes. It's like you know. Uh, terroristic cell like all right you got bin laden but he had lieutenants a b c and d well, i feel like the one on the ship that they captured is a part of something larger right. that it's not the whole the whole thing or like or maybe like it's all linked and it is the one thing but you're able to cut that one piece off right you know it's like a troll head it'll still live you know without the rest of the body right yeah uh, you know so you just gotta make sure you don't get near the teeth right so i think i think troll we offered teeth. uh some some uh, pretty pretty cool ideas. I'm sure you, certain you guys out there are going to have some some interesting suggestions as well. So why don't you put them down in the comments below? Help, help out Nathan while you're at it. Like, share, even subscribe. You can uh, check us out over on Facebook. And also check out Nerdarchy the store. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.